morning guys, happy Friday. It is currently 7.40 a.m. and it is September 6th. I am currently at the domain because I am doing a photo shoot today with two girls from UT. And this whole week has kind of been filled with free shoots. So basically this whole time I was here in Austin, I just kind of had a really bad mentality of you know, getting into the photography and videography space, like my work's good enough, I should be being paid. But now I'm realizing that it's way harder than what I had before in Orlando. Obviously I was in Greek life and like I built up my reputation for four years in that same city. So it's just not the same here in Austin, which obviously sucks. <laughs> but honestly, it's kind of fun to do shoots for free because there's not much pressure on you. I mean, my photos are like pretty good, I will say, but but I feel like if they're not paying, you can kind of take it and run with it. Like you can do something different and not just like a senior session or graduation photos and like the, uh, you know, usual spots. Um, so that's why we're here at the domain today. So on Wednesday, I think, I shot with four girls from UT. Um, they were all seniors and in sororities, so I'm just trying to kind of like get my name out there in Greek life and just on campus in general for when it comes time for graduation sessions. Um, and then Thursday, I shot with someone really cool. If you guys watch Bachelor in Paradise or The Bachelor, um, well, The Bachelorette, I shot with Cam from Hannah's season. He was a contestant on there and he was just on Bachelor in Paradise. You guys probably have heard of like Always Be Cam or ABC. That's who that was. Um, and so many people were like DMing me because I posted some boomerangs of him um, yesterday on my stories. So many people were like, oh my god, how did that even freaking happen? And I was like, I shot my shot and I like went for it kind of. Like it's so weird because I'm basically cold calling all of these people that I'm shooting with and asking them if they want free photos for like in, in return for some exposure. So basically I'm just asking for them to tag me in all the photos that they do post and honestly just spread my name in the Austin area. I'll put a few pictures of that shoot here. Um, and I think it went really well. We just did it all around South Congress. So all like the cool walls and stuff. And I will say it's definitely a lot harder posing boys and it is like a little bit more uncomfortable. I'm just so used to working with girls and like having like girly poses or like touch her hair or like soft smile. Well, I guess boys can still soft smile, but you know what I mean? Like it's just way easier to do it with girls. Um, but I think it went pretty well for how like nervous I was. Not nervous because he was like Cam, but nervous because I just suck at posing boys. So like I said, today we're at the Domain, which is a nice change because I did both of the last two shoots at South Congress. Um, and if you guys don't know what South Congress is, it's just like a street with all these shops and restaurants and super cute like backgrounds and just like the whole street is like so aesthetically pleasing. Um, so, and the Domain is an outside shopping center, but again, it's also very aesthetically pleasing. There's like so many like little like green walls and not green walls, you know what I mean? Plant walls. <laughs> and then there's like the iconic like little murals over there, like near Kendra, or not Kendra Scott. Um, what is it called? Not the day, not the day planner, but like the, ah, oh, damn it. The planner store. I don't know. I always want to vlog during these shoots, but then I'm so like concentrated on, you know, doing well on the shoots and like focusing my energy on taking the photos. But there are two girls, so I might ask one of the girls to take footage behind the scenes while the other one's going. I did get an Amazon package. I ordered this like two days ago and it is a camera bag. Um, I'm currently using my dad's camera bag that I found in his closet and he wasn't using but it is so chunky and so big and just so like not like it doesn't feel comfortable to me it's like a sling thing and not like two um straps so it's just very uh, like awkward for me so I got a new camera bag hopefully it's good enough um so I can use it today it's like so much smaller than the other one 
which is good because I feel like my camera gear isn't even that big. All right, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like compared to my head. Um, and it has like a little water bottle thing. I'm gonna open it up. Let's see. And the other one is so confusing. It has like so many freaking zippers everywhere. And I was like, I don't even know where these zippers lead to. So like half the time on my shoots, I'm like trying to find the zipper to my lenses, but hopefully this will streamline things. This looks perfect and simple, just how we like it. We have some um, like kind of cases over here for miscellaneous like SD cards and batteries and all that. Looks good. Maybe like lean up against this one. And like pull it onto this arm like the arm can. And uh main box. So I'm back at my apartment and I feel like the drive back felt so freaking long, which was weird because on the way there, I was like driving through work traffic. So I thought it'd be like longer that way. On the way home, I actually stopped and got my face threaded. I've pretty much always gotten my eyebrows threaded, but I just recently started getting my face threaded and you guys probably know if you guys watch my vlogs, I do, or I used to wax my face. I just realized that I should probably just pay someone to get it done way faster and like better so she threaded it and it was so fast it definitely hurt pretty bad but i would like to think that i have a high pain tolerance so i did well but i was a little squeamish so i mean they are kind of like still kind of high but whatever i also just went to the leasing office because my sister called me or texted me and she was like did you get it and i was like what <laughs> and she was like i sent you something did you get it and i was like I don't know I don't think so and so I last night I actually got an Amazon package delivered and I was like oh my god I got it because I got like a code from my um, leasing office but then like two seconds after that I tech I got a text from Amazon and it was like delivered so it was the Amazon package basically the package was too big to fit in like the lockers in our leasing office so the um, leasing agents had to just hold it to the side and they forgot to email me so um, I had to hunt that down today but it's massive it's that big box right there so I think I'll do a little unboxing for you guys because I have no idea what this mystery box is all right <laughs> let's do this Ooh. oh my god oh, oh. Instapot and funny story <laughs> I'm I was like literally looking into getting like some kind of like crock pot I'm guessing this is a crock pot this says it cooks food up to 70% faster now I gotta find recipes that are like crock potty I mean I don't know what an instapot is maybe it's like the same thing but oh that's cool it has like buttons for oh my god that's funny <laughs> It has buttons for like bean chili or meat stew. And I was just telling Ryan that I wanted to make beef stew. Ugh. This is cool. I love freaking kitchen appliances. Thanks, Nisha. Ever since I got like a kitchen back, because if y'all watch me for a while, you know I lived in my sorority house with 
no kitchen because we had meal plan so ever since i got like a kitchen after college i've been obsessed with cooking and just like honestly like trying different things out um so this will be a very fun new toy Ooh, i'm guessing those are recipes that would be nice That shit's heavy. I could probably cook rice in here and I don't know how to cook rice. We've been using like minute rice and I feel like my my parents would be very ashamed if they knew that. So if you guys are watching, I'm sorry, family. I'm really sorry. I honestly really want to get more into cooking Indian food. Um, and I wanted to make, uh, what was it? Pork curry. I wanted to make pork curry. So I feel like this could be a really good um, gadget for that what do, what do you call this like a pot i don't know shout out to my sister for getting this for me yay i'm so excited thank you thank you thank you nisha i'm gonna take sophie out shower do all that sort of thing but right now i actually have the photos from today's shoot importing on my computer while i do all that stuff because sometimes the importing takes so freaking long i don't know why also insert some of the pictures from this shoot in here as well I just showered, everything's super noisy because I'm doing the dishes and cooking. Um, Ryan's actually gonna come home for his lunch break. Sometimes I don't, well, I haven't been making him lunches because he won't freaking tell me what he wants. Like, so when we're at the grocery store, he's like, I don't, I don't need lunch. I'm like, yes you do, like, I don't know. Anyways, he's coming home for lunch, so I'm gonna make quesadillas because we have some leftover like onions. And I'm currently heating up chicken it came in like this little chicken packet that you just heat up it's probably not healthy at all but super freaking easy so i just heated that up and then i'll put that in the quesadilla with the leftover like onions and stuff like that just made a peach smoothie um i don't know if i told you guys this but we're going to san antonio this weekend because there's john mayer concert and ryan is obsessed with john mayer and his watch collection but he loves John Mayer. He was like singing all his songs yesterday. And I think he came out with another album like last night. I don't know why, but anyway, so um, before like a trip, I tried to get rid of a lot of food and eat a lot of uh, the food that's gonna go bad. So that's why I made a peach smoothie because I bought peaches and I just get really excited in the grocery store and I just wanna buy everything, but then I end up like not remembering I even have it. So threw it in the smoothie um, and then I'm just gonna try to mix everything else in <laughs> through our food today. So Ryan's home. I made some quesadillas. Peaches, prosciutto. Yeah, peaches and prosciutto. And now, I are these you... metal things for my boots. I'm gonna keep them from wearing. Does that walk weird? From wearing? Wearing. They're gonna keep them from like getting destroyed, right? Yeah. Just here, using my limbs as, as what is it called? Hammer. <laughs> Like, I feel like it's not good with the hammer right next to my face. I'm very brave for this. Like, I already got a stain on my white shirt. Ryan pointed it out. I, can't. <laughs> I got it. I have literally been fighting the urge to sleep. It is currently 3 o'clock and I haven't taken a nap yet, but I yet i really do want to take a nap i still have yet to pack for san antonio so i really need to do that but like i tried to go over to my packing cubes and like start to like put things in a pile but i was just not feeling it so then i went on the couch and started editing um today's shoot and i finished up cameron's pictures um and sent them over to him so now i'm gonna do the girls that i shot today um michelle and cameron um but I remember that I have to give Sophie a bath because Taylor is taking care of Sophie for the weekend and obviously I want to give her a clean dog so I'm gonna give Sophie a bath real quick and I'm, I'm hoping that will wake me up. <laughs> Who's ready for a bath? 
Sophie, you want a treat? Oh, <laughs> I knew it. She always comes out when you say treat. You sweepy? I'm sweepy too. You ready for a bath? Come on. Let's go get in the bathtub. Come on. Baby, so cute. It is currently 7 p.m. and we are on the road to San Antonio. It's like an hour and 20 drive, so it's not horrible, but I'm obviously not the one driving. Shout out to Ryan. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is like the exact time from like Brazil to Athens. Yeah, it's about well, an hour and 30. Yeah. Like I said, we're going for the John Mayer concert. He loves John Mayer. Tell them what you got. The watch. I wasn't for the John Mayer concert, but I really wanted to wear it to the John Mayer concert. It came in the mail today, and they didn't put the links in like I wanted to. The Harvard's has in the back. Well, what kind of watch, sir? A Rolex Datejust, reference 16,000. Yeah. Smooth bezel, Jubilee bracelet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is it like customizable? If you wear it from Rolex, but no, it's just oh. the, the main question. If you buy a date just usually it has like a fluted bezel. Okay, uh, I'm, smooth bezel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> I was really flustered from like yeah, sure. 3 p.m. <laughs> to now, and I just like could not freaking get myself to vlog because I was like, I don't know, I was just getting really hot. Like I was just before, consistently like, hot dancing. for like four hours. Ryan, I tried to turn the AC down. So after Ryan left for the lunch break, I felt so tired. <clears throat> like I was just like instantly hit with like this sleepiness and I was gonna take a nap, but then I was like, no, Snowy, don't waste time. Like you have so much to do. So I didn't take a nap, but I still didn't get it all done. But anyways, we're here now. We left at uh, like, I don't know, 6.45 or something like that. I usually get super excited about like trips to other cities and like I always have this giant itinerary like to the like second <clears throat> and this yeah. time for some reason I didn't do that like I don't it just like doesn't feel like I'm going to San Antonio I guess but like the only thing I know to do there is the the river walk but I honestly I'll, I'll just I'll post on my Insta story and just be like anyone yeah. have any San Antonio Rex I'll do that now I dropped Sophie off at Taylor's and literally it was so weird because I put her bed in the car and she like hopped in and hopped up on the chair and she never does that and I was like are you trying like I know are you trying to get away from me like so rude Sophie 